Hello, it's Matt. Welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, we're going to look at how to set up your voicemail in Microsoft Teams. This video is taken from our Microsoft Teams training course. So if you want more training, you'll find a link to the course in the description where we'll tell you all about it. Or you can choose the link in the top right hand corner now. Voicemail is available to everyone in your organization and calls will go to voicemail if the person you call is unavailable, doesn't answer or drops the call. When you receive a voicemail, you'll see a red dot on the calls app icon. If you open calls and go to voicemail, the call will be listed in the history. New voicemails are marked in bold. You'll see who left the voicemail, how long their message was and when they left it. To review it, you just need to click on the entry in your list. You'll see a play button where you can play the audio recording. While you're listening, you can change the speed of playback using the drop down here. You may also see a transcript of the audio. The transcription service isn't always that accurate, so sometimes you get very amusing results. And sometimes you don't get anything because the audio quality wasn't good enough. On every voicemail, you could use the ellipsis to mark the voicemail as unread, to delete, to call back and add to favorites. You may also receive an email with a recording of the voicemail in it, which you can play straight out of Outlook using your default MP3 player. You can configure the voicemail from the settings in Teams as well. Go to your presence icon at the top right corner of Teams, choose settings and then calls. Where you see call answering rules, you can manage what happens to calls when they come in. If you don't answer, then you can choose to do either nothing at all or go to voicemail. You can choose how long it will ring for before the voicemail kicks in or forward all your calls to voicemail. You can customize your voicemail by pressing the configure voicemail button. On that page, you can record a greeting. And when you press this button, it will take you back into Teams and will record whatever you say next. This will be the message that people hear when they leave you a voicemail from that point on. You can also set up call answer rules. The default answer rule is to let the caller record a message, but you can get more sophisticated than that. If you want them to be able to choose whether to record a message or be transferred, you can choose the next item down and then you must choose who to transfer the call to. You can end the call without playing your greeting and you can play the greeting and then end the call, or you can just transfer the call to somebody else. You can choose which language the greeting should be in and you can also use text to speech to record a greeting. This allows you to type in what you'd like to say and then have a computer voice create the speech based on the text. Lastly, you can set an out of office greeting. Thanks so much for watching. That's all you need to know about voicemail in Microsoft Teams. This video is taken from our Microsoft Teams training course. And if you want to know more about that, you'll find a link to the course in the description. See you next time.